Welcome back to yet another video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel. Today we'll be talking about sugar golf balls. These sugar golf balls, they caught my attention because of their incredibly low price point, yet they're claiming that they're as good as all the other big players out there, like for example, the, the Pro V1s. Today, I'm gonna be taking the sugar golf balls to the test. I want to find out, are they really as good as the competition? And should you guys get out there and save yourself some money by playing with the sugar golf balls? In this video, I'm gonna take the sugar golf balls on the golf course, I'm gonna test them for feel, overall performance and durability. I want to know if the quality really is as good as the Pro V1s for example. And finally I want to test them for distance. I got my launch monitor ready and we're going to take them out, hit some shots with the driver so we can see how far these golf balls fly. Let's start with some quick facts about the Sugar Golf Ball. They are designed to compete with Titleist Pro V1, the Vice Pro and basically all other major tour brands. Instead of buying them in dozens you'll have to buy a cube which contains 27 golf balls and you will pay $69 which includes shipping and tax. So that's $2 37 per golf ball. In comparison, the Pro V1 sells for $4.69 per ball and even the Vice Pro, which, which I think has a similar business model, sells for $2.95 per ball. So how can Sugar Golf provide a golf ball with such a low price point? They sell directly to the consumer and they don't have any tour sponsorships. They're basically saving their money on packaging as well. So instead of giving you all these little sleeves and providing them, designing them, printing them, they save the money so we can, at the end of the day, save the money on the golf ball, which I think is a pretty cool idea because, let's face it, we just throw these sleeves away the moment we use them anyway and it's also bad for the environment. So I really support this. I think that's pretty cool. Now that's left to see is if this golf ball really performs as good as the competition. All right, I like to start testing these golf balls on a putting green to get a good feeling for the ball itself. And uh, yeah, let's just do this. So I've been hitting several putts and chip shots and my first impression is that they feel really good. And I usually play the Vice Pro soft because I like the softer feel. And in theory, the Sugar Golf Ball should be a little bit harder, more similar to the Vice Pro. But to me, it still feels really nice. And I've been able to control my putts and my chip shots around the green really nicely I have to say. Similar to the Vice golf ball they have this really nice center line uh, on their ball to help align the golf ball with the hole and I noticed here that the sugar ball center line <laughs> moves together at the end li like an arrow a little bit which, which I also think is, is quite cool. To me the, the distance is also really important and I'm curious to see later on how it's going to perform with the big stick of the tee. Alright guys I think it's time for the durability test and uh, I'm going to hit a couple of hard shots out of the bunker. I think in such a short period of time, this is the best way to figure out if or how durable this golf ball really is. So I, unfortunately there was a group behind me, so I only got to hit six shots out of the bunker, but it basically didn't make any damage to the golf ball itself, which, which I think is yeah so far pretty impressive. Hey guys, I just finished playing 18 holes with a sugar golf ball. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the durability of the golf ball. It looks perfect. Like it's a little bit dirty, um, tiny little bit scuffed on this one side. Um, but besides that, in great, great condition. And I know how much you all like to see the inside of these golf balls. So let's quickly cut it in half and see what we find inside. I assume that the inside is gonna be completely white. Yeah, just like I thought, it has this very nice uh, off-white color in the middle. Here you can see the three layers. Uh, very simple, the, the off-white inside, the, the transparent layer in the middle and then the outside, of course. It, it doesn't look surprising, the inside. That's kind of what I expected to see. All right, the grand finale. Let's see how far this golf ball really flies. Got the launch monitor here. Let's do this. 269 yards 270 yards 267 yards 264 yards well i gotta say uh overall i'm, I'm very impressed by this golf ball i hit uh, between 265 and 270 yards on average on all my shots. Ball speed was always above 150 and my swing speed always above 106. So yeah, I'm really happy with these numbers. 
they definitely didn't save any money in terms of quality if it comes to the distance of the golf ball. So this is really incredible. And also the overall feeling on the putting green was really nice. I had some incredible chip shots. The spin was really good. It just stopped right in front of the green from like 60 yards. And also the durability, like as I already mentioned, like it's, it's a really good golf ball. I'm very impressed. I'm, guys, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Sugar Golf. Check them out if you wanna sell yourself some money. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.